Galeazzi fracture. Galeazzi fracture is a fracture of the radial shaft which is associated with dislocation of the distal radial ulnar joint. The Galeazzi fracture is named after Riccardo Galeazzi, who was an Italian surgeon in Milan. This injury is uncommon, about 7% of all forearm fractures in adults. Anatomy of the forearm bones. Here you can see the ulna and the radius, as well as the distal radio ulnar joint and the styloid process. This fracture may be short, oblique, or transverse. It involves fracture at the junction of the middle third and distal third of the radius with associated injury to the distal ulnar joint. The closer the fracture is to the distal radial ulnar joint, the more likely that it will be unstable. Dislocation of the distal radial ulnar joint is usually dorsal. It may be associated with either a ligamentous injury or fracture of the styloid process of the ulna. The fracture is usually located above the proximal border of the pronator quadratus muscle. The distal fragment usually moves towards the ulna. Galeazzi fractures are best treated with open reduction and internal fixation of the radius and assessment of the distal radio ulnar joint. Surgery is necessary. Non-surgical treatment in adults usually results in recurrent dislocations of the distal ulna and a bad outcome. Surgery is done by volar plate fixation. Here you can see the volar plate fixation from the lateral view. Followed by assessment of the distal radio ulnar joint. If stable, splint the forearm in supination for six weeks. If the joint is unstable, reduce and pin the distal radio ulnar joint in supination for about four weeks. If the joint is not reducible, open and explore the joint. Check for entrapment of the extensor carpi ulnaris. Please, doctor, can you help me? I was jumping on the trampoline. Then I fell off and landed on my arm. Come right away. All my videos and this video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.